to most girls all right the mon pahars with like the, with like the red locks so i will now share with you what i think is happening i believe the delegation is walking by i believe they're doing the introductions and i believe they're going to commence ceremonies is what i think is happening which is actually very sweet. They give you sticky rice and they give you tea. And then this tea is special because they actually put butter in it because it's such a cold region. So they're out here handling, handing out this beautiful tea to everybody. Very nice people. There's one brave individual here in this place and they're flying a drone in front of all this military, which has, I believe, the authority to shoot it down, arrest and confiscate. So that is very brave, whoever's uh, flying that drone up there. So check it out, we've been here for about an hour now and it's basically been the same kind of thing over and over again. It was great the first five times, but now it's kind of, uh, you know. Well, you know what, you'll find all types of people all over the world, even uh, fashion-minded people. Selfie? Yes, sir. Selfie. Can I ask you a question? Why do you look so fancy and so good? <laughs> because, because we are models. <laughs> are you models? Oh, she's Miss Mizoram. Oh, okay. Hello. Miss nice to meet you. Hi. Ah, okay. Nice to meet you. Miss <laughs> Arnaldo. Nice to meet you. Oh, good. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Why should people come visit Taiwan? Yeah, I think because here um, you can see everywhere the natural beauty, so I think that people come to see town. Thank you very much. It was wonderful to be here. It was oh, yeah. very Thank beautiful. So I love, I love your, uh, your, 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 your dress. Yeah, it's a traditional She's dress. It's, it's, it's yeah. very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, so now we're making our way to the festival grounds, which is where what happens, Prati? Uh, mostly there's the stage over there, and uh, there are a lot of stalls there, and yeah. on the other side there are traditional. Uh, houses which are mostly bamboo based and a lot of dances and fashion shows and singing. Oh, cool. Look at all these beautiful textiles. <laughs> so check out these cool bamboo huts. Uh, they, I believe they're representations of different tribes in the region. And each of them have different designs as you can see. Look at that. That is so cool. So check it out. This is the Taowong Festival and it's not very common for a foreigner to be here because it's so hard to get here. They start telling about the tribes, they start telling you about how the different uh, villages have their own tribe, their sub-tribes. So it's really intricate and really complicated. So it's really interesting to see a little bit of the northeastern culture of India because this is not what you expect from northeast India, but it is. Oh, look at that. You actually gamble and you try to hit one of the numbers over there. <laughs> Don't hit the guy? That's a very brave... That's a very brave man standing there. 
So it was really funny, there was a sign just outside here that said no gambling. Yeah, they're like just barely outside of it and everybody's gambling. I'm trying to throw darts into the right numbers, which is really funny. But I guess that's what passes the gambling around these parts. <laughs> it's about as creative as it gets. And now we're entering the house. Look at this. So is this is this traditional? Yeah, this is completely traditional. I don't think All inclusive with your beautiful view of the hut is you have some foam plates next to this amazing scenery. So Bradley had a very nice smart idea of actually buying these nice rubber shoes to walk around this horrible mud. So this man right here is a genius. Smart man. <laughs> so please tell me what are you wearing? I'm wearing the traditional Lapatali garment for men and this is the Dao, the sword that everybody keeps. That is so cool, look at that. Maybe I'm going to ask for the hand of an Lapatali lady. There you go. Check this out, we have what is called rice beer. See? I would like to once Irani again knows what it is. the sequence. But tell me what it tastes like. As you guys know, I usually don't drink, but just trying a little bit is going to be fine, right? I'm okay with that. Try. That's not bad, actually. Oh, you liar. No, it's really good. It sure beats the horrible stuff you find in Peru in the middle of nowhere. In a moment here, all together around a fire, and look what I found in the corner. Somebody's been drinking. Look at that. Long days in the hut. So this is chicken that's cooked in bamboo shoot. Chicken and egg that's mixed in Check it out, we're going into the next hut from the different tribe. All right, so now we're in a different hut, in a different place, drinking a different type of rice, like rice beer. And as you can see, everybody's pretty drunk by now, and everybody's having fun, like our new friend over here. I love this hat. It's, I'm going to take it home with me to that. That is so cool. Put your hand through this. I'll put my hand through this. Yeah. Wow. So this is a traditional thing that this tribe wears apparently. Uh, they wear this really crazy looking hat, so... Uh, everybody is preparing themselves very pretty for their performance on the stage. Look at this, the entire village came out today to go see this festival. Some of this music they're playing is Nepalese, some of it is uh, Indian, it's a little mix of everything, so it's really, really beautiful. Alright, so I bought my hat, I put on my little scarf, and uh, it looks like I'm about to rob, uh, rob the place, right? It's really the authentic environment and experience that you would find here in Northeast India. It's not what you expected, it's, it's India, but it really isn't. It's, it's a different type of India. It's between China, it's in between Bhutan, it's in between India. It's really far off the beaten path adventure is what it is. Right? Everybody here has been so friendly so nice. In this northeast part of India, uh, you have family everywhere is what I've learned today. So anyway, that was the end of the carnival and now we're going to head home and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See ya! Now I got a bunch of kids over here staring at me, which is great. Hey guys. <laughs> That's what you get when uh, you are someone that looks at a place. <laughs> they were very shy, so I got a little bit of them. Yeah, I love kids.